To the War Machines, Episode 2. Brett's Laboratory. Dodo leaves Brett. Here are your orders. Time is short. Progress is impossible. Unless Wotan takes control within the next few days, then Wotan shall decide on the future of the human race. Who shall live to serve the machines and who shall be eliminated? Wotan's printer springs into life. Brett. Crimpton. You take that? Crimpton. London is the first capital to be taken over. Well, um, then Washington and Moscow, more machines must be built immediately. Brett, throw instructions from Wotan. We shall require skilled labour. A labour corps will come into operation immediately. Contact will be made by these people by telephone. When they are on the line, switch them through to mind control, fault control. This is the way each person will be enlisted. Green, then we will have the people. Where we are where are we to construct green when we have the people where are, where are we to construct the machines Brett at central points of London you need to dream select select suitable places I should supervise the initial stages superstition must not be aroused green I shall attend to this immediately Brett you Quinton will work upon a suitable electronic program for the new mobile computers. They must be able to move freely and contain their own power. All control computer systems throughout the world must be integrated to Wot- in Wotan. Compton, I shall begin this at once. Brett, no, top priority to, is to list Doctor Who. He has advanced knowledge which was and needs. Doctor Who must be enlisted into our services tonight. Wotan, Doctor Who is required. Infernal Club, Kitty. Look, love, I'm really, I really am sorry about your friend not turning up. But I've got to look look up now. You can hang a note on the door if you like. Doctor, yes, a good idea. Thank you. That, that's very kind, Polly. I think we ought to go to the police, Kitty. I'd rather not have them round here, if you don't mind. We have to go. We have got the license to think of, Polly. Well, we must do something. I'm going to start phoning the hospitals. What's her say name? Doctor, oh, Sh- Chaplet, Dodo Chaplet. Polly, I wonder which the nearest would be, Brian. What are you phoning the hospital for? Polly, well, she might have had an accident, Ben. Oh, on regular little ray of sunshine, aren't you? Polly, well, look, it's better than sitting around here on about your backsides doing nothing. Dodo, hello, Doctor. So you found us, all right? Doctor, oh, my dear child, Ben, where have you been? Polly, what's happened to you? Dodo, I've just been around the corner. Polly, but you've been hours. Doctor, yes, you've been extremely worried about you. Doctor, yes, we've been extremely worried about you. Dodo, uh, I had a call from some old friends. I just popped along to see them. Was it really that long? Dodo, indeed you were. You didn't tell me about your friends. How did they know that you might be here? Dodo, oh, it's a long story. I'm sorry if you're worried. Doctor, well, so silly, I sincerely hope so. Oh, by the way, child, so Charles Summer and his family have asked us to pay a visit. So if you excuse us, I shall think I think we'd be better off. Ben, yeah, I think we ought to get s- some kick too, Doctor. I suppose it isn't too late to get a cab, is it? Polly, no, we'll get one outside. Doctor, oh, yes, 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 I suppose so. Street, Polly, good night, Kitty. Kitty, good night, Doctor, Doctor. Yes, good night, my dear. Good night, the young lady, good night. Ben, oh, look, wait here, do- Doctor. I've got, I'll go and get you a taxi. Doctor, oh, yes. Polly, wait for me, Ben. I know where we've, right, we'll find one. Dodo, he shouldn't have done that. Doctor, well, that, that's very helpful of him, I thought. Dodo, oh, yes, that's quite right. Of course it was. Dodo spots two men waiting across the road, holding a bottle of cloth. Dodo, you know, Doctor, those two have gone, have gone off in the, in the wrong direction. The taxi's all down here, there. Doctor, but they are, are you sure, my dear? Dodo, I've seen three go past. Man, they're coming. Dodo, come along, Doctor. You must pick up Polly where when we find her. Doctor, oh, very well, my dear. Ben, Doctor. Doctor, oh, a taxi pulls up. And Ben and Polly jump out. Ben, you were lucky enough to score this one for you, Doctor. Doctor, oh, yes, good good boy, good boy. Dodo, oh, Tramp gets out too. Tramp. Ta-ta then, driver, not so fast. What's on about my fare, tramp? 
I was just about to pay you, my man. Have you got a change for a quid? Drove it. Oh, no, not another one. No, I haven't got the change, mate. Tramp. Oh, I'll just pop over to the all night's cafe and get some. Driver. They're staying right here, mate. Doctor. Oh, come along, my man. We're in a hurry. Come along. Driver. Not until he pays. We all know you're around here. Polly. I think I've got change. Here you are. Tramp. Thank you, miss. There you are, my man. Half a crown on top. Driver. Thanks. Must be. Now I'll be off for you. Right. Where to, Governor? Doctor. Oh, yes, yes. Here, look. Now look, give him that, my dear. But he hands him over a business card. Polly, here you are, Doctor. Come along, come along, Dodo. All right. Off you go, off you go, off you go. Ben, I'll see you all then. Polly, where do you, where do you, you have to get to, Ben? Ben, oh, just a service club, just around the corner. If it's, it's all right, I'll walk. Polly, right, right, listen. If you meet me at reception at the post office tower, Tomorrow I'll stand you lunch, Ben. Yeah, yeah, all right. But I'm not, I'm no dope's delight, you know. Polly, I can see that, Ben. Well, yeah, well, good night, Doctor. Good night, Dodo. See you tomorrow, Polly. Doctor, goodbye. Young man, goodbye. Dodo, bye. Doctor, drive on. Polly, see you tomorrow, Ben. Good night. A taxi leaves and Ben walks over to the tramp. Ben, here you are. Pen, pen here. Have you got a bed for the night, mate? Tramp. Well, perhaps not. What you call a bed? After a bit of a, after a bit of a meal. Ben. I'm. Oh, sorry, mate. Tramp. I'm going to doss down in the old warehouse over there. Ben. Okay. Good night. Tramp. It's been in paradise of what I've been used to for the last six months. Ben. Yeah. The would-be kidnapper is making a telephone call for the coin box. Man. He didn't bring the doctor. Yes, he tried to, but they went off in a taxi. I understand. We will do as you say. The man walks into the warehouse. Warehouse boxes have been delivered. Brett, this is your this is your blueprint. This must be followed in every detail. The outer sections are to be constructed at once. Electrical section must be assembled assembled in this order. Outside the warehouse, tramp. They paid out the number. What's good, been going on around here? He goes inside the warehouse. The tramp sees all the activity. Keeps out of sight. Ben. Makes announcements. Brett makes announcements over a tunnel. Brett, a weld- the welding of the casing must b- begin now. Hurry, Tommy Short, this machine must be completed. Alarm by tomorrow morning. Ready to be programmed by Wilton. Something starts beeping. Brett, cease work and stand by. There is a warning. Close the doors. There's a stranger among us. He's in the north section of the warehouse. Bearing 270 degrees. Cover Behind cover. He's a dangerous... To us, he must be destroyed. The train tries to get away, but it's stopped by a tractor unit. The workers close in menacingly. Trap, now look, if you're the law, you ain't got nothing in me. I'm clean, just come out. Well, all right, live and let live. I've had another place to dust. Night all. Brett, cover the door, he must not escape, Tramp. Now, what kind of welcome is this for a bloke that's just come out of the hospital? I won't say nothing, boss. Here, yeah, what is this, a nut house? Here. Yeah. You keep away from me. He throws his blown paper parcel at them and runs. The chaser scream, Brett, resume work immediately. Construction must be completed by tomorrow morning. Well, Machine 9 stands there with a hammer arms and electronic weaponry. Summer's office. In Whitehall, the doctor is reading the Times headline, Dead Man. Found reading, in Whitehall, Summer's office. In the Whitehall, the doctor is reading the Times headline, Dead Man Found in Garden. Doctor, good gracious, Summer. What is it, Doctor? Doctor, oh, just take a look at this, Sir Charles, Summer. Tramp found dead in Covent Garden. Doctor, yes, three o'clock. That must have been after we left him. Summer, do you know that fellow, Doctor? Doctor, no. We met last night, or rather early this morning. We used his taxi. We left in Covent Garden, Summer. The police aren't sure it Summer, the police aren't sure if it was a street accident. Doctor, oh yes, it's possible, of course. Summer, well, what else? Doctor, oh, I don't know. Sir Charles, I don't know. Summer, well, if you just stop worrying about the indefinable, you might be able to give me a little advice on a very real problem. Doctor, oh yes, what is this then? 
Summer, letters of recognition for scientists, both of them in my facility. Doctor, oh yes, I see, yes. There's no reason given at all, is there? Summer, no, that's a strange thing. Now these, these are two men, two of the best men in England, haven't been able to get in touch with them. No one appears to have seen them since last night. Now isn't it an extraordinary thing that two such well-known men can vanish so suddenly? Oh, yes, I wonder, Sir Charles. Do you suppose? No, I don't suppose you would. Summer, coffee? Doctor, no, no, thank you. Polly, good morning, Sir Charles. Doctor, doctor, morning, morning. Polly, I'm sorry I'm late. Summer, late, late, look, what for? Polly, wait, well, for work. I just, if you show, just show me where the secretary does work, I'll take over. Summer, I'm afraid I don't quite understand. Polly, but Major Green told me to come straight round at once at, as Professor Brent. Well, doesn't want me this morning, and your secretary was ill. So he is. Well, my secretary is away today, but how on earth Brent knew? Still, I mean, if you're here, I'll be very grateful for your of, of your help. The office is through there. I'll be there in a moment, Polly. Right, thank you very much. How's Dodo this morning, Doctor? Doctor, oh, she's a, she, there she is, child. Perhaps you better ask her for yourself. <coughs> Polly, hello, Doc, Dodo. How are you feeling, Dodo? Quite well, thank you. Haven't you better start work? Polly, pardon me for asking. Dodo, hello, Doctor. Hope I haven't kept you waiting for me today. <coughs> Doctor, no, child. No, you're right on time. Well, I'm sorry, Sir Charles. I can't help you with your problem. But I'm afraid I'm rather, I'm rather out of touch. Say that bit again. Doctor, no, no, child, no, you're right on time. I'm sorry, Sir Charles, I can't help you with your problem. But I'm, but I'm, I'm afraid I'm rather out of touch, Summer. Yes, well, it's not going to be easy. Men of that quality are very hard to find, especially men with their knowledge of computers. Don't you, computers? Well, surely the person who can tell you more about computers is Professor Brent. He would call, we could call round and see him now. Doctor, oh, but my dear, I thought you were going to show me round London this morning. Don't, oh, don't worry about that. Your business sounds important. Don't, oh, that's very nice of you. Yes, yeah, very understanding. Dodo, yeah, right, I'm ready. Doctor, yeah, oh, I think perhaps I'd better phone his office first. Dodo, yes, that might be best. Doctor, do you mind if I use the phone? Summer, oh, by all means, Doctor, thank you. Doctor picks up the handset. Doctor, yes, yes, I want to speak to Professor Brett. Yes, it's a, he's at the General Post Office. Of his tower. That's right, yes, the Brett's laboratory. Brett answers the phone. Brett, yes, it's the doctor. Crimson, ah, switch you through, Director Wilton. Summer's office, doctor, ah. The doctor convulses, manages to let go of the telephone and grabs at his head in pain. Don't know you all right, Summer. Let him, let's get back, get him back in his chair. I will get to Brett's secretary to phone for a, uh, uh, Doctor, oh, no, 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 Summer, well, a little brandy then, Doctor, oh, just water, so all right, I'll get some water, Dodo, don't be long, Doctor, this is a method of establishing contact, time is very short, construction was already begun, you are needed, Doctor, what happened, Dodo, it's all right, Doctor, you're now one of us, my function was to bring you into contact, now I shall serve as an assistant, Doctor, oh, what are you talking about, child? Dodo, listen, Doctor, construction is taking place at strategic points in London. Dodo, what are you saying, my dear? Dodo, now look, at you took the call. You made, They made the telephone call. You they made contact, didn't you? Dodo, yes, yes, I think I remember. I was speaking to Professor Brett. All of a sudden, there seemed to be an explosion. Very nearly knocked me off my feet. It was as if I, as if... Doctor, Dodo, what, Doctor? Dodo, yeah, it was... Doctor, it was as if something enormous and terrific was trying to absorb me. Yes, yes. It, oh, it's ridiculous, child, isn't it? Yes, yes, there's something irrationally wrong with the telephone. Yes. It's like an electric shock. Dodo, then you received no instruction? Doctor, from whom, my dear? Dodo, from? Doctor, Polly. Here you are, Doctor. Drink this, Doctor. Yes, yes, thank you, Polly. What happened, Doctor? That's it. Either the telephone is dangerously old or, or summer. Or what? Dodo is heading for the door. Doctor, stay where you are, my dear Polly. What is the matter, Doctor? Is a new and deadly dangerous facing. Is a new and deadly danger facing us? Yes, 
It's coming from Professor Brett's office. Calling from my office? I don't understand. Doctor, none of us do. Yet, come here, my dear. Look at me. Yes, I first, just as I first thought. You've been hypnotized. Sit in the chair, my dear. He shines a table light into her face, Doctor. Now, I want you to repeat after me. My name is Dodo Chaplet. Dodo, my name is Dodo Chaplet. Doctor, I resist all attempts to change me into somebody else. Dodo, I resist all attempts to change me into some, into somebody else. Dodo, now, I'm going to start counting. When I count to five, you'll be fast asleep. When you wake up again, you'll forget all about this distressing incident. And I'm going to start count. Well, now I'm going to start counting. Now, just look at my ring on my hand. He moves his hand up and down. Dot one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I think she'll sleep for 48 hours. And when she wakes up, I want to, I want absolute peace and quiet for her. Do you understand? But are you sure she'll be all right? Dot oh, yes, she'll be all right. Oh, excuse me, Summer. Yes, she can go down to my house in the country. My wife will look after her. Dot yes, a very fine thing. Yes, I was. And take care of her, won't you? So, uh, you do your will, Polly would, would. Oh, where is that girl gone to, Doctor? I don't know. She says something about strategic points in London. So, uh, strategic points, Doctor. Where? I wonder where. Airport. Boxes are delivered to the Bo- o- BOC Customs Transit Shed. Warehouse van num- 952WY is backed and unloaded. WM9 being moved about. Bashing into light fittings, it flashes its own lights at green. Green destructive weapons to be fitted and tested. A hair of a demonstration of effectiveness. You're the, the, you there. Stand where you are. Stand still. Bearing 52. Distance check. 30 feet. Revelation 5 feet. Impact fatal. Take aim. Have the worker stands as still. It's orders as WM9 turns to face him. Ready, green, ready to proceed. Observe results. By the fire, fire. Man falls to the ground. Green, test satisfactory. Effective at 30 feet. Brett's laboratory. Walton, where is Doctor Who, Brett? There's no word yet from the person known as Dodo. Quentin, perhaps he's failed a task. Walton, another means must be employed. Doctor Who is required. Brett, there's someone outside, Quentin. You must be... Ready to destroy Polly. There you are, Professor. Are you right? Someone's house. Office. Ben. Excuse me, sir. Doctor. Oh, Ben. How did you know I was here? Ben. Well, I was supposed to meet Polly for lunch. See? But they told me at the tower she didn't come here. Doctor. She didn't keep that appointment? Ben. No, Doctor. Doctor. Oh, dear me. It's just as I feared. Ben. Is there something wrong? Where's Dodo? Doctor. Oh, she's a little under the weather. She's gone into the country for a few days. Ben, I'm sorry to hear that. Doctor, oh, she'll be quite all right. Yes, really, I'm worried about Polly. She appears to be missing that ch- child. Ben, oh, she's probably gone all snooty on us. Do- snooty on, snooty on us. Doctor, oh, I think it's far more serious than that. A tramp in the paper. Did you see it? Ben, of course, I thought I recognised him. He was in the taxi. How does this connect with Polly? Doctor, well, I'm not sure it does, my boy. And it's not, but that's why I want to list your help in this matter. I think I don't know. Oh, I didn't think you'd arouse so much suspicion as the police might. Ben, well, just tell me what you want me what to do. Doctor, well, I want you to investigate in and around the neighbourhood where we were last night in that club. Ben, oh yeah, the tramp was a sort of a home around there. We got, we'll do, well, I'll go right now. Doctor, yes, I'm a care, be careful, my boy. This might be dangerous. Ben, I'll watch it, Doctor. Covert garden. Workers are unloading fruit and vegetables. Days were the days the Infernal Club is closed. Ben goes up to the warehouse door in time to hear. Green, destruction, potency test, stand by. Boom. Ben goes inside. Warehouse. Green, stand by to test arm action. Testing the hammer arm strikes a desk. Green, a test satisfactory. Down my for sight test. Commencing testing. A searchlight moves across when Ben is hiding. Nice and crates, he ducks down. Green, sight is to be improved. 30 yards maximum, if significant. Movement test, commence testing. W9 moves forward until he hits the box where W9 
M3 content. Then WWM3 continuity continuity error starts hammering at them to clear it or its way. She then goes forward for a load of grapefruit boxes to it ha- until it has been in its search like backed up against the wall.